Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to factor any cubic function. So we have two steps to do this, the rational roots theorem and the second step is by long division. So if I put our cubic function over here, if you don't know what rational roots theorem is, all we do is focus on the coefficient in front of the x cubed, so in this case it's 1, and we call this a n, and we focus on the constant in the cubic, which is 6, and we call this a0. And what the rational roots theorem says is that we must find all the factors for 1, so in this case it's just 1, and we also need to find all the factors for 6, so this would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. And our next step is to find the factors of a0 divided by a n, and what we have to do with this set of numbers is put a plus minus, so in this example, we would find the plus minus of a0, so a factor of a0 is 1, divided by the factor of an, 1, and the next factor is 2, divided by 1, which is just 2, 3, divided by 1, is just 3, and 6, divided by 1, is just 6. So over here, we actually have 8 set of numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 6, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 6. And what we want to do with these numbers is plug them into our cubic function, and if any of them equal to 0, then we have our first root. So let's try plugging 1 in. 1 cubed is 1, plus 6 squared is 6, plus 11, plus 6. We can already see this is not equal to 0. Next, we try negative 1. So up here we chuck into the cubic function, we have negative 1 plus 6 minus 11 plus 6 and you can see clearly this equals to 0 which tells us that if you substitute x equals to negative 1 into our cubic function it is a root so therefore x equals to negative 1 is the solution to our cubic function so if you rearrange this we have x plus 1 equals to 0 and we found our first factor. Now that we know one of our factors for our cubic function, we can use it to find the other factors. So we, we do long division, we have x plus 1, and inside is our cubic function. And if you don't know the steps to do long division, this is how you do it. So what we do is focus on the first term, x cubed, and we want to see what we multiply this factor by to give x cubed and that will be x squared because if you do x times x squared you have x cubed plus 1 times x squared and this will cancel nicely if you do minus so this will cancel, this will cancel and we have 6x squared minus x squared is 5x squared then bring these two down Now again, we look at this term, 5x squared, what do we need to multiply our x by, and it will be 5x. So 5x times x plus 1 is 5x squared plus 5x. Again, minus it, and you get 11x minus 5x is 6x plus 6. Again, focus on the 6x, what we need to multiply x plus 1 by. To get 6x plus 6, we need to multiply it by 6. So x plus 1 times 6 is 6x plus 6. And this will equal 0, which means we've finished our long division. So if we combine our answers from the first step and second step, we have x plus 1 times x squared plus 5x plus 6. And you can factor out our quadratic a bit more into x plus 2 times x plus 3. And this over here is your answer. And that's how you factor any cubic function you want. 